Thanks, Lauren. Well, today, Hoover Mayor Frank Bracado giving the State of the City address to city leaders, members of the chamber, and many more. Our Anjanae Robinson joining us live and on your side. Anjanae, what is the mayor most proud of and what are his goals for the future? Well, Sarah, Brittany, topics of discussion included public safety, quality of life, the financial climate of the city, as well as the school system. Now, the city of Hoover is built on public safety, and both Hoover police and fire departments received national accreditations that tested their policies and procedures. Very important that, you know, you can say you're the best, but when other people can test you and look at your policies, then you can really step out and say you are the best. But it's very important that our police department and our fire department have the tools that they need to make sure that our city is safe. The city recently purchased property to build a new modern fire station on Highway 31. That's coming soon. Now, when it comes to quality of life, the city of Hoover continues to invest in their parks and public spaces, library, and the Hoover Met Complex. The total economic impact of that facility for fiscal year 22 was more than $55 million, and it generated almost 70,000 hotel room nights throughout the region. Now, projects the city has been discussing for years now are coming to fruition, like the I-459 interchange, redevelopment plans of the Performing Arts Center, as well as residential and mixed-use commercial developments coming online. Cahaba Valley Road section of Hoover, that will be 120 townhomes, as well as some commercial development. And then we're very excited about some things that are going on at the Galleria. You've got two empty big box stores and uh, we're very close to seeing a contract signed where both of those stores are filled up. So that's all good news for the city. Now, the financial climate of the city is moving in the right direction with a focus on attracting more tech-based businesses to the city of Hoover. Now, for that school system, this past year, Hoover School System received an A rating on all 16 schools. Reporting live from Shelby County, Anjanae Robinson, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.